Welcome to another tutorial in my tutorial series using uh, CAS, Computer Algebra System for Mathematical, Technical Applications in Civil Engineering. This special tutorial is an introduction to MATCAD Prime. So, what will you learn in this tutorial? Here you see already the uh, the result of the uh, of the, this uh, uh, tutorial and uh, we have to create a worksheet which calculates the um, the uh, transmission time for a certain project uh, the certain this certain uh, project uh, consists of uh, uh, different files yeah here are some just examples some files and this, those files have a special size and then we can um, define all those individual files using a table yeah and then we can sum it up and then we would like to find out uh, because we have some uh, different uh, transfer system here like a, like a modem and ISDN um, card and uh, two uh, one time and two times and also a DSL modem and uh, this is just an analog modem and it has a, a certain a transfer rate and then we would like to calculate how much uh, how long does it take to transfer this project with each uh, transfer system and here this is the result this is actually not so new um, okay we create a, a table this it might be new for you but uh, but what is interesting in this um, tutorial is that we have to create our own units because uh, despite the fact that MATCAD is actually a computer as i said already before a computer algebra system and it has uh, lots of units but it as far as I know, it does not have uh, units for computer science like uh, bits and, uh, and bytes and so on. But this is a nice opportunity to show you how you can define your own units. And uh, this is actually the main part of this uh, tutorial. If you're interested uh, how you can uh, how you can do something like this in MATCAD, then you are right here. And of course, uh, we, we do this uh, in a certain example. And then we can we define our units. We can use them. And uh, yes, so let's start. Again, uh, we don't, don't want to waste our time with rendering too much text into the, into the worksheet. So I prepared already a template which we can use so that we can focus only at the new part of this exercise. So here we are, this is our template. And now let's start to, um, to uh, uh, to put all the things inside this template which are missing. Let's start with the units and uh, to define your uh, your um, uh, custom units. I would recommend to go to document and here you have an area because if you want, then uh, maybe if you if you like if you like to use your worksheet for documentation purpose then it might not look nice if you see the units later if you print this out so that's why here we, uh, we have uh, the possibility to uh, use an area and uh, the area you can actually uh, uncollapse and you can see everything what you do here in this area for instance definition of some units but you can also collapse it and then you just see a line and then you will not um, uh, see it later uh, maybe on the print at the printout. So that's why let's do it here as well. So uh, here I, I uh, insert such, uh, such an area. You find it as I already said before uh, here in the document re register card and here you can insert an area. So here we are, this is our area. We can expand this a little bit, just uh, hit enter, the enter key at, on your keyboard yeah, to make some space. And now let's copy this this text into this area. Let's cut this and now let's insert this. And here we are. Maybe just move this a little bit up. So, and then we move this text box here to the side. Well, it does not want to, why not? Let's try it like this with the arrow keys on your keyboard. Sometimes is it easier. Okay, now let's start with, with the uh, creation of our units here i already put the text inside we start with the basic unit of computer science this is uh, one bit yeah and here 
This is actually a text box, as I already said it. And now let's uh, insert in this text box uh, some math region. So I just hit the space key on my keyboard to put some space between the text and the math region. And then I, I go to the uh, math register card. And here we have our math region. And now we insert this into this text box. And now you see we are in the math region. And in this math region, we can define, you can start with a, var a variable. So the variable we call, the variable we call bit. And then the definition. And then we have to start with um, with a base uh, value, yeah. And the base value should actually be be a unit. And um, if you go to units here, we, we use the uh, SI uh, unit system. And here are the the units of this SI system. And uh, yes, and then the question is, what should be your base unit? And actually, I usually use this this one money uh, because Money has actually nothing to do with any other physical uh, units, and that's why. And if I don't use uh, use money in this worksheet for some other purpose, then uh, it's, in my opinion, it's the best way to link this just with money because in this worksheet I have no need for money at all. So that's why I say, okay, this should be money. Here we are, and uh, the last the last step is. Oh, I want to write it with a uh, cap. Uh, with a big letter and uh, now let's um, we have to label it as a variable yeah this is the last step you have to do here if you if you select the, the name of your variable uh, the default is variable but here you can change it yeah you see you can declare a constant a function a system or a keyword yeah and this time it's a unit and if you label it then you see it's getting blue yeah this is quite important and now if i click outside this mass region you see it's it's highlighted or in, in blue yeah so let's start with the second unit here yeah, again i'm here i just hit the space key no that no, no, sorry the, the tab key on my keyboard two times and then, then i insert this mass region this time i call this kilobit and the uh, definition symbol here yeah, i i usually use this one I, I think you can also use this one the global definition if you want to but in my case, it makes no sense. So I prefer this one. And uh, yes, and this actually 1024 bit. So, and here we are. Now let's bigger to have more space. And now again, let's go here. And ah, we have forgotten something. You see, this is still black. So, uh, just click inside the, the, the name of this uh, variable. And here we have to say this is actually a unit. And uh, maybe let's just copy it uh, to make to save some time. If it's possible. Oops, hopefully it's. Does it work to copy it? Let's see. Yeah, now again. Base car now I paste it in. Yeah, OK, and now I just change the name. This is actually byte. Ah, okay. I have to still have to. Um, and this is eight bit. Yeah, and then again label it as a unit, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So this is kilobyte. This is actually one thousand twenty four bytes. Oops, why well, it's not blue? Interesting. Oh, yeah, now it's getting blue. Yeah, always make sure that's, that it's turning into blue. Yeah, otherwise, you did some mistake. And yes, then we have megabyte. So 1024 kilobyte. And the last one is this gigabyte. Yeah, of course, if you want, you can continue this. Uh, but in my this worksheet, I don't need more. So we defined our units, and then now uh, from now on, uh, from this 
part on in my worksheet, I can use these units. You cannot use it up here, yeah, or here, but here, uh, if you um, continue with your uh, if you work in your in this worksheet from this uh, part here, then you can have then you have this unit accessible. So okay, this so far about the unit definition. So let's use them and um, to uh, to put such a project because actually the project uh, consists of two information. Yeah, one is the name of the file, and the other information is the the size of the of the uh, of the file yeah and uh, if you might like to keep this information in a certain order in a certain in a certain structure i would recommend like you would actually do this in a uh, in a uh, in, like in a software like excel uh, i would uh, recommend to use a table yeah so let's do this to put this in a table because i don't want to make for each uh, file a certain variable yeah so actually then then we had uh, uh, for we have for, uh, five files here and i don't want to create five variables for each uh, individual file then this is just an example but maybe you have not just five files maybe you have 100 files then you have 100 variables uh, in your worksheet it makes actually no sense yeah so that's why i would recommend to use a complex data like fields yeah fields uh, fields is the, is the, the, the the general type, yeah, and you have a vector, or you have a matrix, uh, and, uh, or something, uh, something with, with more dimension, yeah. Here in MadCat, actually, we have uh, this um, the matrix, and um, this could be a vector, yeah, or maybe also a, a, um, a matrix. And here, uh, you can create, you can insert a table, which which is actually also just a vector. Yeah, you will see later. Okay, this table has actually two columns yeah, and uh, five rows, uh, two, four, five. And now let's give each column a name. This is actually the name of the vector. This we call files. And here for the size. Let's say this is only, let's say F yeah, for the file size. Here, uh, if we enter the file names and here the size uh, of its of each file. And for the size, we can use our units. Yeah? And we would like to, uh, to store the information about the size in this uh, vector or in this table uh, in kilobyte, kilobyte. Yeah, kilobytes. So like this, yeah? it's getting blue because we Defined our uh, units here. If you if you want, we can hide this, yeah, and then we don't see this, um, but it's still there. And um, okay, but maybe, maybe let's let's keep this now that we don't forget our units. So let's here let's uh, insert the name. Uh, by the way, the, if it's a name, if it's just a normal text, then you have to uh, put this in um, in this uh, uh, special signs here index html and then the size is of this this file was 25 kilobyte by the way if you don't use the quotation mark if you just insert it like this let's say this is called build one point gif then you get an then it's getting uh, then it's turning into blue uh, into red because it, it thinks it's a variable. Yeah, that could be actually if you uh, the, the math cat thinks that it's a variable, a normal variable, which you should actually define before. And so that's why you get this error message. Yeah, that's why you have to put this this text, which has actually no meaning for the uh, for the calculation in the quotation marks. So let's change it now at the quotation mark, and now everything is fine. So 45, and then just copy this to two this has 50 40 530 and the last two ah, i think i changed the name yeah I, I, this is still the german name so let's change it into the english one so image and blueprint yeah okay here yeah. it's actually a blueprint oh, i cannot I have to write it, type it, blueprint point ewg file. This is 
its size. And if you want, you can also image this one. So, and here as well. And the last, just the scan as a JPEG. Don't forget the quotation mark. And here we have our size. So, yeah, this is actually just for information. Yeah, this we don't need for calculation at all. Yeah, so it's just simple text there. Yeah, of course, uh, I, saw, I have uh, shown you in another tutorial that you can also do some text operations in MedCat, similar to Excel, but for this, uh, we don't need it now. More interesting is this one here. So let's uh, show you what you can do with this. This is actually a vector. Yeah, you can, uh, the, the, the name of the vector is, is F, yeah, it's, the, uh, it's the capital F, and the uh, unit is kilobyte. Yeah. And uh, if you would like to work with this vector, just type its name into uh, a mass region, and now you can you can uh, maybe add some values to it. Let's say something like this. But if you do it like this, and you get some error message, yeah, because it tells you that the units are not compatible, yeah, yeah, because this is kilobyte and it's actually nothing. Yeah, so maybe you can say, okay, it should not be kilobyte. Maybe let's say megabyte. Yeah, and then it will work. And now you see all those. Values are changed yeah, with the scalar, and of course this is the base unit. And let's say I would like to have this in kilobyte again to change to kilobytes, and now you see the values in kilobyte. Yeah, this how you can deal with a vector. And of course uh, now I changed all uh, all the values of the vector at once. If you have to, if you like to have some individual access to a certain value of the vector, then you have to use an index. Yeah. I will show you now. Uh, I just hit the or enter the name of the vector, the uh, capital F, and then you have to go to uh, the matrix and tables, and here you find the index here, yeah, and the you can also find it here if you go to mass to operators, and here you find the index uh, operator, yeah, and uh, just give it a click, and now it's up to you what you which where you would like to change, maybe let's take this value here, yeah, or let no better this value, yeah, the second value, and um, so just enter the the number two, yeah, and then again plus. No, we are still in the index. Make sure that you're out of the index. So I click, I, I hit the arrow key on my keyboard, yeah, and now you see that the cursor blinks. It's getting bigger now, and here uh, now I can continue with my calculation. And let's say 20 megabyte. And uh, and now if I uh, evaluate this, then it only will show us this value here. And it's actually, let's uh, convert this into kilobyte. Here we are. Yeah. And maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe it's not so easy to see the difference. Then maybe let's say 10 megabytes in here. Uh, it's this value, and maybe just with kilobytes, it's even better. So 55, yeah. Kilobyte, this is looks much better. Yeah, this is a way how you can access how you have access to a certain uh, value um, of your vector. Yeah, using the index. I said it, it is actually the index number two. But you have to take in consideration this is actually um, up to some special settings which you find here in calculation. And here you have a, um, a constant, a system constant, which is called origin. And with the origin, you can you can tell the system uh, with with which index you like to start the counting in your fields, in your vectors, or in your matrices. Yeah. I prefer actually the uh, always number one, yeah, uh, because I think it's easier to count and it's also better for my students because the student I also have uh, Excel courses with them and in Excel always number one in the notation. Uh, I don't want to confuse my students and that's why I use the same setting like in Excel. 
Yeah, but be, be aware that if you use a normal worksheet here from, from MadCat, a normal template, if I go to new, for instance, here and create a new worksheet, you see the default is actually zero. Yeah, because lots of other uh, CIS software like uh, I think MATLAB and so on, and also some uh, lots of programming language, they use actually zero as a start index or as or origin. And uh, as far as I know, you cannot change it there so easily. Yeah. So if you come from another uh, software, maybe for you it's better to continue to work with. with zero. But if you use my templates, yeah, for your uh, and also my workflows, which I show here, then uh, take in consideration that I prefer actually always uh, one as origin. So let's go back to my to this uh, template here and here. That's why it was actually number two. If we change, like to change this value, yeah. If I change this origin now, then here we actually number two is uh, should be this one here, yeah, because this is zero, this is one, and this is number two. Yeah, let's turn it, change it back to origin one, and now this is one and this is two. Yeah, this is really important to uh, to know. Yeah, if you work with uh, with vectors, okay. So far about this vector. Uh, and now let's also insert the transmission, uh, this uh, transfer rate here. We also use a, a table for this. So uh, let's go back to this matrices tables. And we have actually two uh, columns, one for the name, for the, for the system's names, and also for the transfer rate. And we have actually four different systems. So we need four rows. Oh, this was no sorry <laughs> this is actually a, a matrix yeah but i wanted to insert a table let's undo this i was wrong here is the table and so here we are so and yeah give it a name this is actually the tr uh, transfer system and this is the transfer rate the transfer rate has a unit we call this kilobit per second and you see, you can also mix your user-defined uh, units with some standard units uh, from MadCat. Yeah, seconds, for instance. Yeah, that's why I I use money because you have to always take in consideration if you uh, uh, if you um, if you if you will mix up your user-defined unit with some other units, and then uh, and that's why I said that money has nothing to do with some physical as a unit yeah and that's why normally i use money as some base unit yeah so that i will not get some um, some errors yeah in my uh, in my worksheet so again let's enter the name with this uh, 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 quotation marks this is the modem this is isbn uh, how did it, how did I call it here? Also, type one and type two. Yeah, ISDN. Oh, I forgot the my quotation mark. ISDN um, one. And let's copy this. This is two times ISDN two channels, and this should be DSL. Now the uh, transfer rate, 56 kilobit per second, 64. This is actually only two times 64. And here we have with 768. This actually, this exercise is quite late. I know nowadays you should have uh, some faster systems, but it, the, the, uh, the calculation will be more or less the same, so don't care about the uh, the values here are using. And uh, okay, now we can calculate the size of our project. So we just sum up yeah, this um, this vector, and uh, for this we can use a vector sum. Here we are. I call the variable in which I like to store this information. How 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 big is the file size of of my whole project? I call this a PR 
J for project and uh, I define it using the shortcut for a definition, that's this one. And uh, now I go to operators here and here we have, we find the sum operator. Oh, uh, here is, here is, and now we make this uh, summation. And if it's just a simple vector, then you can ignore all this, all those uh, placeholders here to set up this, uh, this summation. Uh, just enter the name of the vector here. This is like the sum function in, in Excel. And now um, make an evaluation. And here we are. Again, we have to change the unit. Yeah, it's always. Um, uh, make the evaluation with the in the base unit and the base unit is actually here this this symbol uh, which stands for men for money and uh, here we are this is the size of our project and and now we can calculate the trans transmission time for each um, yeah for each uh, system so we call this variable in which we like to store this information we call it only time a time subscript a the a is just an, a name it's not an inst index please don't mix it up and then we make a definition and now we calculate the file the uh, the total file size of the project with the transmission time of each system by the way yeah this is a scalar this is a vector so at the end we will have a vector yeah and now we have the transmission time for each system, yeah, starting with the modem, then those two ISDN modems, and here the, the DSL. So we like to, I would like to change the units into minutes. And here now we have uh, the time. How long does it take to uh, transfer this information uh, through a network? And now there is a and, and additional questions. Uh, how long does it take if you increase this project? Uh, with 10 megabyte, okay. This we can also do, uh, or oh, it's also easily done. Yeah, let's call this time B. Yeah, time uh, subscript B. Uh, if you just write, uh, start uh, writing in your worksheet, then uh, the default is always a math region. Yes, that's why there's actually no need if you like to enter a math region to click here because it's only start typing. And that's all. Now I use the shortcut for definition, a double point. And now I take the, my project. Yeah, I add 10 megabyte. Don't forget the unit like we, we have done this before. And then I divide, I um, expand my cursor. And now I divide this with the vector of the transmission rate. And in this case, I have to subtract the time A because it wants to know um, uh, how, how long does it take longer. Yeah, That's why just subtract the time A, which we calculated already before. And then let's evaluate this. And here again, we prefer minutes instead of seconds. And let's move this a little bit to the left. And uh, here we are. Yeah, this takes 24 minutes longer, 21 minutes, 10 minutes, and so on. Yeah, uh, 10 megabyte because here this is actually just some um, two megabytes. Yeah, that's why this is uh, uh, such a difference. Okay, at the end, uh, maybe you would like to uh, um, to export this information. Yeah, here. Uh, to another pro software, for instance, Excel, yeah, and you would like to put this together, yeah. Here you have only the transfer time or the transmission time, yeah, and maybe you would also add at the other side in a table the uh, the systems, yeah, uh, which belongs to this uh, transmission time, yeah. And for this, we can use an and built-in function, yeah, to put some some vectors again together, yeah, in one mat uh, matrix, and this is called augment this function you find it let's go to build in functions where where they are here are the functions and here i think you find it here yeah yeah with augment you can 
put some vectors together. Yeah, let's do this. And the first vector is actually the system. Yeah, this one here. Uh, system, and the other is actually the time a. I just copy it. And uh, if you don't want to have, uh, if you would like to have a certain unit in your export, then you have to write this with the unit you would like to have. Yeah, you know, you know the base unit is actually seconds. Yeah, and if you maybe if you don't set up any unit unit here and you just evaluate this, then you get such an a, ma a matrix. Yeah, here it's the vector with this um, in the first uh, column of this matrix. You have this um, the vector with the system names, and here you have those uh, uh, transmission times, but in seconds here. Yeah. And you have the seconds still inside this matrix. If you don't like this, yeah, then you can just um, divide this vector with the unit you like to have, yeah. And this is one way. Uh, with this, you actually convert. The units, yeah, into your preferred unit, and you also um, remove the unit. Uh, uh, so it means th th this step means that at first you make a con con conversion, yeah, to your uh, to your uh, preferred unit, and you also remove the unit from the values. Yeah, at the end, these are uh, unitless values. Yeah, and this now you can actually export. To a software like Excel and so on, but how you can export this or how you can link Excel with Madcat, this I can, this I will show you in another tutorial. Okay, so this is actually done. Yeah, just sum this up. What have we done? Yeah, in this tutorial, I have shown you how you can create or how you can you can you can define your own units. Yeah, we uh, we used uh, for our uh, for this example. Uh, some uh, computer science units like bits and bytes and so on, and we started with our base unit money, yeah, because money has no uh, meaning in this worksheet, and that's why we can actually overwrite money with some other unit here. Yeah, make sure that if you uh, if you if we would use money, yeah, then it would be then it would be dangerous, yeah, to do something like this. Yeah, but in our case, it, uh, if we don't need money at all in this worksheet, so we can just overwrite it. And uh, yes, then we have uh, put some table uh, into our worksheet and we, we filled it up with the, our project files. Yeah, so we have some special columns. Uh, here we have the, the, uh, the file names and then we have the file size. But at the end, these are just two different variables, but not with a scalar. It's a variable with a vector. Yeah, and here again, yeah, we have a table, but, but this, this, this table actually creates just two. A different variables. Each column is a variable. It could has a unit. Yeah, it, it, it could have a unit. Yeah, but it could be also unitless. And uh, yeah, and then we then we sum up this vector here. We just used a simple uh, vector summation. Yeah, we fi you find this here. And uh, this is actually the summation operator. Yeah, and for such uh, for our purpose, this was enough. I, in another tutorial. I will show you what you can do with this, this operator, but here it's enough. Just sum it up, and that's all. Yeah, and then we have the uh, the overall file size of the project, and then we could calculate. We could make some calculation uh, with our with a scalar and a vector yeah, to uh, to create the uh, uh, tr transmission time for each system, and then we played a little bit with this. At the end, here we. Uh, we created some uh, some possible output. Yeah, we put uh, vectors together yeah, in a matrix with this augment built-in function, and we uh, converted the unit of this uh, vector in a certain unit, and we also removed the unit. Yeah, and so on. Okay, I thank you for your attention, and maybe see you in another tutorial.